Well, good Friday morning. It is time for the Real Monica Adams Show. I am your host, Monica Adams. Thank you so much for being a part of this gorgeous Friday. And holy cow, this weekend's going to be amazing as we look for 80 degrees. And I'll see when that 80 pattern will end. We'll be talking with our aspiring meteorologist doing our What the Weather segment coming up for you in just a minute. Let me paint the picture for you of what is on tap for today. We're going to do a little Friendship Friday. We've got a housing market to talk about as well as we go into spring and summer. Is it hot? How about the inventory? We've got some tips for you if you're thinking or you have been thinking about putting your house on the market. And we've got 10 things that you need to be doing before you ever are going to buy a home. These are things in advance to make it easier for you. We've got Dot Fleshman. She is the real estate extraordinaire with Coldwell Banker Gundaker. And she's going to be my guest coming up in about 10 minutes. We're also going to do some Friendship Friday stuff. We're going to talk about every Everything happens for a reason. My brother hates hearing that statement. He's like, no kidding. Obviously it does. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But why? It's all about what goes into it. Thought provoking. We're also, if we have time, we're going to get to life mapping. And again, just share the love of friendship. Good morning to you and to all of you that are my friends and have become my friends of this show. I thank you so much for your support. And of course, thanking our wonderful list of ongoing sponsors. And you can see it here at the bottom of the screen, our special thanks to them. If you want to be a part of the show as a guest, or you want to be a part of the show as far as us bringing our show to you, your business, or just sponsoring a segment, let me know and email me info at the real com. Right now, though, do us a favor. Let everybody know if they haven't had a chance to watch the show that we're on. We are on YouTube. We are on Facebook, Instagram, X and Rumble on those platforms continue to grow. So whatever platform someone wants to watch us on. And then also if people ask about, do we have a podcast? Yes. The audio podcast drops on Thursdays, by the way, at 8 a.m. And if you didn't hear that one yesterday, it was with author Andy Way. And it was a really good one. He's very inspirational. So I encourage you to reach out uh, and look at Apple or um, Spotify, iTunes, wherever you watch, or excuse me, listen to your audio podcast. Thank you, darling. Off in the distance, my husband just made me a huge thing of hot tea. That's how I'm starting. Let me know if you're a coffee drinker or a tea drinker. We haven't done that little challenge in the past and we'll see which one comes out ahead. Let's talk about weather, what the weather, news you can use, sports, and then we'll get into our show today. Let's start with the sunshine, our aspiring meteorologist, Beckett Moore. Good morning to you. Good morning. The sun, we have been missing it after the rain over the last couple of days. It's actually really pretty. What's the temperature as we're walking out the door this morning? Yeah, the sun is going to make a major comeback this weekend with the temperature right now around 50 degrees, sunny conditions, and then the afternoon, 68 degrees and sunny. We have missed it, Beckett. We've needed it. Enough of the rain. I know that rain is not completely gone into next week, but it's this pattern of 80s and higher and higher and higher. So I was asking you the other day if this was unseasonably warm. What would it normally be right now? Um, right now, it would probably be into the 60s, maybe into the low 70s for our highs. Yeah, got to love that. I mean, that's what we're looking at at lows in some areas. Okay, before we get into our What the Weather segment, I was asking Beckett, and I'm so glad the answer he's going to give us. Beckett, do you wear Crocs? No. <laughs> Me either. I used to work with a lot of people though that did, and I just don't get it, but they somehow have lasting power. So here's the latest Beckett. I don't know if you've heard, but Pringles has teamed up with Crocs for this iteration. Have you oh, heard? Wow. Of no, I haven't. Okay. The one on the right, you can actually, there's a little holster where you can put some Pringles. <laughs> wow. That's, that's so something. Going out for a walk, and that's something that's right. I mean, they're going out for a walk or a run or just go out with some friends and they get, get a little hungry. Oh, hang on yeah, a second. I got a sprinkle for me and one for you. <laughs> yeah. I don't get it. And then all those little yeah. things that you can stick in. Uh, I mean, again, for kids, I yeah. think it's cute. You know, the biggest um, business that I see wearing those? Chefs. Oh. Weird. Yeah. Yes. If you pay attention, if you ever go to a restaurant and the chef decides to come out and, and you want to say thank you to the chef or whatever, they wear Crocs. I guess they're, really? they're super comfortable. I just, yeah. again, if you're a Crocs fan, I don't mean to hurt your feelings, but I think they're so ugly. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> right? Yeah. All right. We just want to ask Beckett about that. Okay. Weather-wise, we're heading out the door this morning and then making our weekend plans. So what's on tap for us? 
Yeah, so we're going to have a very warm, maybe even hot, you could say, weekend ahead. Again, today, high of 68 with um, sunny skies, low of 47, but then as we go into tomorrow, and to Saturday, high of 81, mostly sunny skies, really warming up into the 80s, and we're going to have a maybe five-day stretch. That's going to be very possible from Saturday all the way to Wednesday because Saturday will be 81. As we go into Sunday, really warming up. This could be our warmest day of this five-day stretch, around 84 degrees um, Skies low of 62. Then into Monday, we get those clouds to move on in, mostly cloudy skies on Monday, high around 85. And then into Tuesday, we cool down just a bit, but I think we'll high into the upper 70s, around 80. But this is the day where we're going to have to watch for severe storms. We already do have a severe weather outlook for Tuesday. This is where the Storm Prediction Center has highlighted in Missouri um, the possibility of storms on Tuesday. So we're going to have to watch that very closely. Right now, it's looking like a severe weather threat that um, could get more significant as time goes on. So we'll watch this and have more on Monday. Now, going back to the seven-day outlook, moving towards Wednesday, 80 degrees, mostly sunny skies. And then the Thursday, that cold front's going to be coming through 65 in our next rain chance. But look at that five-day stretch of really warm temperatures is definitely going to be a great weekend, and then we got to watch those storms on Tuesday. Yeah, I'm loving the sunshine, though, and I know a lot of people have been wanting to make plans to get outside. I heard it was going to be breezy, though, so as far as today, I wouldn't, uh, well, you could go outside, but just be aware if you're going to have a picnic or whatever, make sure you've yeah. got something to anchor down yeah. <laughs> your blanket. Uh, what are you doing for the weekend, by the way? Um, well, actually, today we're driving to Northern Illinois University to hear James Spann. He's one of my oh, yeah. favorite meteorologists from Birmingham, Alabama. He's covered tornado outbreaks and things like that. So we'll be there tonight and then drive back home tomorrow. So I'm excited for that. Absolutely. Our family is in Birmingham and they've talked about how incredible he is. What yeah. part of Illinois? Um, Northern, Illinois, Northern Illinois University. So that's up near Rockford. Oh, very cool. I can't wait to hear that. Uh, will you get a chance to meet him? Yes, yes. Oh, fantastic. Take a picture with him and then wow. show us that on Monday. I can't wait for that recap. We'll I'm going to make a note yeah. here that we're going to talk to you about that because, yeah, I have heard he's been around for a long time, has he not? Yeah, I think he's been on TV since the 80s, maybe the 70s. No, the 70s, I think. Yeah. The 70s. And a great portion of that, he's been in Birmingham. He's yes. a longtime meteorologist in Birmingham, Alabama. Yes. How cool. Well, very good. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful weekend, and we'll talk to you on Monday. You too. Okay, that's aspiring meteorologist Beckett Moore. Isn't he awesome? If you're new to the show and you have not heard him, he is with us on a regular basis. We usually like to bookend, if he's not out of town chasing a storm or something, on Mondays and Fridays for sure. And we are looking for a What the Weather sponsor, because what we really want to do is be able to give money to Beckett to continue to further his education. You know, he's talked about where he's been thinking about going to school for meteorology, as well as continuing to expand on the equipment that he uses. I mean, isn't he amazing? He puts those slides together. He goes very in-depth, just like a meteorologist working right now in television. And we love him. Beckett Moore, again, with our What the Weather segment. All right, let's say good morning, Sean. Julie Purcell, I just saw your text coming into me. Julie, like me and everybody else, I think, that watches the show, big animal lover. And she was talking the other day about driving to Mizzou to get her Yorkie's eyes looked at. And I think that the poor baby has gone blind. I had a dog, uh, our Shiba Inu that my very first, Kira, that happened to her, took her to um, multiple levels of putting eye drops in and all these things just to take care so that the eye didn't literally burst. Um, she did go blind, but as long as we kept it to where, you know, she was okay and that wasn't going to cause a problem, we kept her around. One of the biggest decisions that you have to make though is quality of life. And that's what she said she's struggling with right now of, you know, what are they going to do? Do they do the surgery? I think the dog's like 11 or 12 years old. That gets hard. So all of you in this community, can you do me a favor and sh uh, send your prayers and healing energy out to uh, Julie Purcell and her Yorkie. Diane, happy Friday. Good morning to you. Kathleen Morris, good morning. Marilyn, Linda, Julie said coffee and tea. Oh, so you do both. Crystal, good morning. Everything happens for a reason is my mantra. People think it's so cliche, but if you really think about your life and instances in it, you'll see that it really does. Well, Crystal, we'll be talking about that. Uh, Marilyn says tea, never coffee. Yuck. That's how I feel. Linda, okay, coffee and tea. Michelle, 
Michelle said Crocs. Ooh, I know, right? Uh, okay, Julie says Crocs, yes, for kids. Not my cup of tea, though. Uh, Kathleen says tea. We've got more people with tea. Oh, nurses wear Crocs, Diane says. I can see that. Anybody on their feet for a long time. I wonder if, <laughs> I can't imagine the girl who does my hair, Sherry, wearing Crocs, but they're on their feet a lot. They might as well. I've never owned a pair before. I agree they're ugly and make your feet look huge. Yeah, no kidding. Linda, they're like big ducks. Uh, I wear Crocs to take my dog out, Julie says. Um, who else? Beckett is awesome. I know, right? I love the, all these comments that get back to him. You're welcome, per Julie. And again, there's all your big hugs. Good morning. Have a great Friday. Okay, coffee and tea. And then um, prayers for Julie's pup. All right, let's get into our news you can use. Did you hear yesterday? I mean, literally around the world, you can say these two letters and everybody knows who you're talking about. OJ. OJ Simpson passed away from prostate cancer at the age of 76. And of course, known as a football player, he was a Heisman Trophy winner, went on to play with obviously the NFL, was uh, into commercials and movies, et cetera. But the biggest thing he is remembered for is, of course, the trial of the century and so many things that came off of that. He was, of course, acquitted of that, but then spent a decade in jail after the debacle that happened uh, at that Las Vegas hotel. So that was one of the big news stories. This, however, is something I want you to look very closely at. And if you want to Google even deeper, there's a video that maybe our community could help. A Metro East animal shelter looking for help after these two men broke into the shelter. Who breaks into a animal shelter and steals from them? They stole multiple items like laptops as well as dog medication, leftover pizza from a refrigerator. This is Pet Guardians in East St. Louis trying to recover from that. That made me so frustrated. So again, if you recognize or you know anybody that knows someone that knows these two gentlemen, and again, there's a video where you can see a little more, um, please let's help out the Pet Guardians in East St. Louis. I think it's like $2,000 worth of stuff. Fortunately, no animals were injured. No employees were injured. But just come on, how how ruthless is that? Now, speaking of East St. Louis, this is another weekend where the Poplar Street Bridge and the Martin Luther King Bridge are going to be closed starting at nine o'clock tonight. That's the second of six weekend closures as we go into May. So that's a news you can use story. Also for our sports um our sports lovers, there are three games that the Blues need to win. So it's every one of their games. Is it possible? Yes. Is it slim? Yes. But here's the schedule. Carolina at the Blues tonight at Enterprise Center. Anybody going, by the way? 7 o'clock face-off. The Kraken at the Blues. And that'll be on Sunday, a noon game. Now, be aware of traffic on that day because you're going to have the Blues game and then the St. Louis City SC. They actually play in the afternoon on Sunday. So it'll be as the Blues game's letting out, you'll have people coming in for the City versus uh, Austin FC game. That's at 3.30 on Sunday. The Battle Hawks not playing. They will be in action the following week on the 20th. Um, and then the Cards versus Milwaukee. That'll be at Bush tonight. That's at 715. So we've got some news you can use. We've got sports for you. We've got weather for you. I mean, see all those things that you used to turn on the news for that we will promise to give you. All right. Sherry's on. She said coffee all the way. Sherry, I can guarantee you do not wear Crocs. Do you? Please tell me you don't wear Crocs. Uh, Julie Purcell so sad about the animal shelter. Go Blues. I haven't given up. We all are there for them. People are hard up if you steal from an animal shelter. I know. You can keep talking about that. In, uh, in the comments. I love how you all interact and we interact together with regards to news. <laughs> Thank you. Sherry said, no way. I wouldn't think so. All right. We have our Friendship Friday on tap for today. And I'm going to spend some time with that beautiful lady. We've had her on a couple times. Dot Fleshman with Coldwell Banker Gundager. Of course, an amazing human being. She also could be your real estate agent. You were thinking of buying or selling a home. That is the person that I want you to remember. Again, we say all the time, those that support our show, I'm hoping that when it comes time for any of these things that you need in your life, that you remember the people who have supported us. We're going to talk a little real estate. We're going to talk about everything happens for a reason, some thought provoking conversation. And if we can get to it, we're going to do a little life mapping. What's that all about? Well, Dot's got the answers when we return.
Invita Health and Wellness, where you can feel your best both inside and out. Invita isn't your typical med spa. They're a multi-specialty medical spa and wellness center serving St. Louis and its surrounding areas. They have ketamine for mental health and pain, IV therapy, medical weight loss, and aesthetics treatments. As board-certified anesthesia providers, Invita can ensure that their advanced treatments are provided safely with minimal to no pain. So let Invita take care of you. Call 314-394-0950 to book an appointment or online at VitaHealthAndWellness.com. Hi, it's Monica Adams. Thank you so much for following along with The Real Monica Adams Show since we launched back in March. But I wanted to let you know there's so much more that I could do with you, your business, your corporation. Did you know that I'm a motivational speaker all around the world, as well as an MC and an auctioneer? So if you have an event, maybe a nonprofit organization, and you want to book me, just shoot me an email, info at therealmonicaadams.com. Personal training, life coaching, and styling as well. Info at therealmonicaadams.com. All right, welcome back. Let's get into the show. 715 on the nose and this spoke to me. BFFs and beyond. How friendships boost your mental health and keep your sanity in check. Isn't that incredible? I'm going to put it behind us today. Good morning, Dot. Good morning. Good morning. Good to see you. And it's so funny because if you ever type BFF in a text message, it flips it to Buffalo. And that is exactly what happened to me and Dot. (laughs) And so we start calling each other our favorite buffaloes. And she's my favorite buffalo. Well, you're my favorite buffalo. I got to say that I love Beckett. I think he's going to become my favorite best friend too. He's an amazing entrepreneur. I mean, how old is he? He is 14. He'll be 15 in October. I mean, that's crazy. That's crazy. I'm so happy for him to take this trip and to get inspired by his uh, mentor. I know. So yeah, James Spann, if you just tuned in, James Spann, if you go into Birmingham, he is long known in Birmingham, Alabama, and he gets a chance. It's also, don't we, we, you know, we talked yesterday about the support system that's around us. And we'll talk about that obviously today with regards to friendships, but his mother and father, I mean, kudos to them for the support that they're giving their 14 year old son already, because they've taken him to chase the storm in Chicago and into Michigan. Uh, They've taken him on these storm chaser summits and now in to meet one of his mentors. So you got to give them major props too. Yep. Right. Exactly. Exactly. All right. So let's start off because we are, you know, the feel of spring is with us now as we get into spring and summer and talking about the housing market. So we've been mentioning with Dot over the last uh, couple times that she's been on with us, whether or not it's the hot market still, if it's a buyer's market, it's a seller's market. So let's get into that first. Are we looking at a pretty hot housing market still? It is super busy. I mean, I'm telling you, the little buds kept, you know, hit up on those trees and all of a sudden it's people need to buy, people need to sell. And th- that's the good news. I mean, it, everything's cyclical. Everything is cyclical, meaning, you know, you buy, then when you're ready to sell, you sell and you buy a new house and then you sell. You know, no one really stays in their houses for 20, 30, 50, 60 years like they did back in the days, just like their jobs. They don't keep the same job for 60 years. But part of it is, is uh, it is, it's a very busy uh, market right now. Is it a seller's market? It is a seller's market. But, you know, we have talented agents and helping you to find your favorite house. Uh, you know, we have some tricks as well. And, you know, we're able to do that. You know, we, we're connected to some great lenders. We're connected to, you know, lots of entities that that's going to help you to get you where you need to be in a timely manner. But that's the that's what we're going to talk about today. That well, and what, what about inventory? Is it low still? So inventory is low, but not, I mean, but it's coming up. I mean, yeah. our inventory has, has gone up because a lot of people are willing to sell their homes, which means there's more homes on the market. Is it still low? It's lower than it has been historically, but it's, still, but it's getting better. So it's not as, it's not as bad as it was uh, spring of last year, 23. Well, and if we look back, I mean, we all know the craziness that took place in our country during the pandemic and what happened with the prices of that and people trying to find homes. And it's nothing like that anymore. People aren't aren't offering two, three, four, five times the asking price anymore, are they? So, no, I mean, that, no, there, I mean, yes, on some, we're still doing 20, 20,000 plus, you know, over market depends on how bad you want the house. And 
it, and then, you know, it's like when you, when you make an offer on a couple of homes and you get no and a no and a no and a no, at some point you're going to come to come down. If you can afford a $500,000 house, possibly come down to four twenty five and have room to negotiate. So then willing to say, I'm going to go up another $20,000 or so and still fall, have it fall in within an appraisal appraised value property. Okay. So again, if you're just tuning in, Dot Fleshman, Coldwell Banker, Gundaker, Michelle will in the comments drop information of how you can get in touch with her. We'll also have Dot give you uh, any information with regards to email and phone number as well. But this is something we talk about a lot with, with Kathy Kilo Peterson. And I know real estate agents and insurance and mortgage lenders, everybody works hand in hand, a great collaboration. I always say with Kathy, hey, what do you have to lose? Call her, have her look at your policy and see where, hey, you're missing out. You should have coverage here and she could save you a lot of money. And then all of a sudden she becomes your agent. With you, you're saying, call me, let me give you an analysis to break down equity, cost of home, et cetera. Talk a little bit about that. Say that again. So as far as people contacting you and looking at, you know, everyone's oh. always wondering what is the, uh, what's the cost, what, what's the yes. value of my home, right? Yes, yes, at, yes, 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 yes. So yes, call, uh, CMA, cost evaluations. And yeah, I'm happy to send you anything to kind of look at. So what people don't really take in consideration is how much equity they have in their home. And if they were to purchase, so if you purchase a home and, you know, you're 3% and you're thinking, gosh, you know, I want to move, but I've got a really great rate. Well, when you look at the equity that's in your home versus where you want to be at this current interest rate, because of that extra equity and value in your property, I mean, you might not really be that much higher. And one of the things we talk about all the time is we start with where you want to be. So if you say, you know, I can afford a $2,500 house payment or I can afford a whatever that number is, we, st we start there and we look at houses from that point on. I mean, the interest rate will eventually go down and it has, it's already shown to go down and we already plan for it to continue to go down. So by the end of this year, we're going to be looking at some pretty good rates. And then by spring of next year, we'll be looking at great rates as well. However, let's take in consideration when that happens, more people will be wanting to buy, right? right. So your competition will really be out there. So part of what we say is Buy now. The best time to buy is now. You don't want to be out there with everyone else's competition because you can always lower your rate, right? You can always refinance. Well, and that not that the hardest thing? Because people will sit there and go, ah, maybe I should wait a little longer. And then they wait too long and then they get frustrated because then they can't get the house that they have fallen in love with. Well, you'll be in multiple offer situations. You know, you're going to be, the competition is more people looking at one property. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's what you're going to be up against as, I mean, it's just, it is what it is. Once those rates start dropping, more people will start coming to play. Um, but you know, Monica, that some people do have to wait till then, because some of the things we want to talk about is, um, if you're, if you really want a house right now, but you haven't done the homework to see, mm -hmm. you know, what is my credit score? You know, how much do I really need to put down on a, on a house? How much do I need for closing costs? You know, do I have the funds to make that happen right now? So that's why you start the conversation now because maybe you're not ready. But what we do is we, myself, are the lender that I'm connected with, we sit down, we look at how do we get you ready for that? And that, that he'll, he'll be the one that says, you know, pay off this bill, don't pay off this bill, never close a credit card. You know, that doesn't make any sense because it ruins your rate. But, but th so that's what we do. We guide you on how to do that. What are some of the things that we can do? We put you on a drip campaign and there's so many things we can do to get you started. But what happens is we'll get someone that says, I'm ready to buy a house. And we look at that and they have to be out of their apartment in like two months. It's two months is too close to try and fix things if, if things need to be fixed. So again, if you're just tuning in, let me give you the information of how you can get in touch with Dot because we say you can contact her for a, a home analysis. She'll again determine worth and equity, et cetera, great lending options. So it's Dot, and we say period because it's Dot Dorothy, <laughs> D-O-T, Dot <laughs> period Fleshman at cbrealty.com. Her phone number, by the way, is 314-324-3317 and the website is Dot Fleshman.com. So let's go through the top 10 items. So everybody, if you want to grab a pen and paper, Top 10 items to prepare for prior, prior is the key word here, to buying your home. 
Okay. So rule number one, you want to check your credit score and you want to see where you are with that. We want to get you pre-approved. So that's one of the things we talked about is I'll connect you with a lender. The minute someone calls me and says, Hey, I'm really interested in buying a house. You know, can we go look at it? My first question is, have you been pre-approved yet? If you, if you, I mean, because here's the thing, if you go look at it and you love it and you want to make an offer, we, I mean, I need to really have a, either a pre-approval or something that shows that you have proof of funds. Right. You know, for people who say I want to pay all cash. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, you know, we just need to show that you have proof of funds in yep. your account currently. So those are the things that we have to look at as far as getting pre-approved. Uh, and you don't I, want them waiting on that because again, time ticks away. And if you're not pre-approved, somebody else is over here, they're gonna they're gonna just scoot in on and you're gonna lose that. And you wanna be like like these people. <laughs> yeah, yay. Those are my clients. They they just uh they just uh closed on their house and they're super excited. They are the they're they're entrepreneurs. They own Titanium um, Fitness Center in uh, oh, Berlin. Oh, awesome. I love yeah. that. And again, we're going to just show some pictures as she's running through these top 10 items. Again, we mentioned the, the key word, as I said, is prior to buying your home. So um, pre-approval, um, checking credit score, I know is on that list. Yep. You want to determine your must-haves. Like, uh, you know, I want to have a ranch. I want to have a two-story. You know, those are things that you want to focus on or must have a yard with a fence. I have a dog, those types of things. You want to, you want to hire an excellent real estate agent. I can connect you to one. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would be Dot Fleshman. <laughs> um, so, uh, but you want to look at, you want to decide, you know, where do I want to live? I love when someone says, I don't care. That's great. But we have to still kind of pull in just a little exactly. bit, you know, you know, like north, south, east, west, and then we'll kind of go from there. But you do want to look at neighborhoods. If you want to live in Fenton, drive there during the day, drive there during the night, kind of drive around and see what is it like? You know, do I do I see myself living in this area? Uh, don't let the city fool you. The city is a beautiful area to live in. There's close to everything. It's uh, great neighborhoods. You want to look for... Um, you want to look at a couple of homes even before making the decision. So what I like to do is take my clients out. We'll go look at a couple of properties. And as we're looking at the couple of properties, I ask them to speak out loud, kind of like, oh, I love brown cabinets or I, or I love, you know, so I can kind of get a big picture of what it is that you don't like or do like. Uh, some people say I, I could care less if there's a fireplace in my house. Where for me, I'm like, I'm not buying a house without a fireplace. So exactly. <laughs> you have your wants and your needs, right? Now, for me, I better have a pool. Right. Right. I know we lost out on that one too. Um, I used to have a pool. <laughs> that was really a bummer to go from having a pool to not having one. Manifest it in your future. I will. <laughs> Ronnie, oh. Ronnie, Ronnie. Um, if he's on. Um, so then at that point, what we'll do is we will make some decisions, look around. And then at some point, if you find something, we'll sit down and we'll say, okay, Let's talk about what we want to make it like, what type of an offer we want to make if that offer gets accepted. Um, and there's a lot of things that go into just if it gets accepted, you know, how do you place your order? How do you create your uh, contract, your offer to the seller? Uh, how do you make it enticing? We got some tricks to the trade there as well. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, and then you want to get an inspection. You know, yes. you want to know, like, what can I, you know, when you talk about what can you afford, you also want to, you know, add in all the other additional costs that go along with your home uh, as far as like property tax insurance, et cetera, that all factors into the price of the home. So, you know, can I continue to afford that on a long-term basis? And um, you want to plan. So if you're just new, newly married and you find the house and it's beautiful and you love it and you fall in love, well, I don't know. Let's think about this. Are you going to have any kids? Should we have maybe some additional rooms so you don't have to move in another year or two when you get pregnant? Yeah. You know, factor that in. Factor in if you're going to, you know, all right, you like, how long are we going to be there? Do we want to, you know, downsize at some point? Do we want to move into a ranch before we buy a two story and downsize in a couple of years? You know, yep. let's plan for the future. What does that look like? So I speak to my clients and ask lots of questions to kind of get a bigger picture feel for that. But those 10 things are, you know, you know, they, they occupy a lot of time. So that's why we say you want to kind of, Let's sit down. Let's start the conversation. And I've got someone right now. I've got their folder. I've got everything ready to go. And they're not ready until November. That's great. But what we're doing is we're working on a couple right. of things, credit score and, uh, and getting funds before then. 
Well, again, and that kind of goes into all aspects of life. The more prepared and organized we are, things go the way you want them to go. Otherwise, you'll feel all out of sorts, discombobulated. You're going to transfer that on to your agent. I think it's a really key thing that Dot said about five minutes ago, because when I bought my first house, I was in my 20s, and I really was like, well... Um, I think I like Brentwood. I like Clayton. I like Kirkwood of uh, Richmond Heights, Glendale, Rock Hill. But then I was like, oh, but I also like way out West. And she's like, okay, and we were driving all over the place. And I was like, oh my gosh, if somebody could take me back to tell that 20 year old, be nicer to your agent, Monica. She's, she needs a, a helicopter to just dry, fly you all over the place and then drop down. Uh, we kind of did the same thing though, to our friend Gordon, who, when we found this house, we really though did think, we're open to a lot of different places, but imagine the time spent in the car trying to get all over the place. It could be an hour away. It could be an hour and a half away, 45 minutes away. So yes, be kinder to your agent. <laughs> I'm telling you as agents, we say to ourselves, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hey, know hey. your value. Know your value. Hey, girl. Hang on. Go, go get go your teeth on the screen. Show that, show that again. Know your value. Yay, Dot. <laughs> yeah. So know your value. Go get your t-shirt from Monica Adams. It's like my favorite. I'm wearing it out today because I've got Isn't a lot. It soft? It's soft. It's comfortable. And I love it. I, I'd love it more if it was in black. No, I'll get a black one too. <laughs> I, well, we, we are we are literally launching new ones that are, I told you I like more color on you. I know. I know. Pink and teal. Teal will look pretty on you. Yeah. 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 Yep. So know your value. You know, part of it is, is there is so much that we do. So what we did is we, I created a list of all the tasks and everything that we do as agents. And, you know, we don't just put a sign in the lawn if we're selling your house and we don't just pull things up on the internet and send it to you. I mean, I go, I drive to people's houses and I get my camera and I go in and I look and then I'll send the video to my client because she couldn't go because she couldn't get off work. Her time was off, et cetera. And I thought, okay, we're not going to let this house go if we can't you know, if we can't see it. So there's so much that we do for that. And yes, we drive, you know, I drive, drove all the way out to St. Clair for my niece because uh, she was buying and selling a house out there. It's a little bit of a drive, but you know, you just listen to good music. You listen to great podcasts. <laughs> yep. Well, and it, it, honestly, and I know this has happened because we're going to show some pictures about that. You have become friends because you're, you, there is so much time spent again in the car, driving around, meeting yeah. for coffee or tea, probably having breakfast, really going through what the person's looking for, that these are go well beyond a client and a real estate relationship. It becomes friendships. They do friendships and family. I mean, they become your family. You're with them for quite a period of time. You know, it takes a little bit to close on a house and it takes a little bit longer to even find a house. So, you know, you're going to be searching, you know, weekend after weekend after weekend. And sometimes, you know, I've got some clients right now who are taking a little bit of a pause. We looked and looked and looked, couldn't find anything. They want to take a little bit of a pause thinking maybe all of those homes would be gone and maybe we can start fresh. Yeah. Okay. But you know, we're together and we work with everyone's timeline. And remember, we're dealing with so many people's schedules. And when the house is going to market, it might be going on the market on Tuesday, Wednesday. Well, let's think about that. If it goes on the market Tuesday, Wednesday, someone can buy it by Tuesday, Wednesday. Right. Or Thursday. Unless, you know, unless they say no, you know, offers all the offers due at the same time or whatever. But that is the case. So when I put my clients on a drip campaign. And it goes on to Tuesday, Wednesday, and I find something. The first thing I'm doing is calling them. I'm not even texting. I'm calling. Hey, who's available Tuesday, Wednesday? No? Right. Okay. I go with my phone. Sure. And I go and I take pictures and uh, I send it to them. And I say, you know, it's, it's probably not what you're looking for. Because that's why I say when we, when we go and we walk and, I, and they talk out loud and they say, I love these light floors or I hate dark floors. I don't yeah. like this fireplace. Um, then when I walk in, I kind of know what they're looking for. Sure. Yep. Oh, and again, changeable. I'm going to put this up on the screen and then we're going to take a quick break. So if you want to take a snapshot of this mm -hmm. top 10 items to prepare for prior to buying your home. Again, last month we discussed what to do prior to selling your home, but a great top 10 list for you. If you are wanting to buy the home, just to make sure that you are prepared. So you really can say, wow, that process went so much better because of these wonderful tips that Dot gave me. Again, it's Dot period Fleshman at cbrealty.com, Dot Fleshman.com website. And then the phone number is 314-324-3317. You know, we're talking about friendships today as well. When we come back from the break, we're going to discuss 
work friendships, longtime friendships we'll be discussing in the future. Like one of the things Dot wants to talk about coming up is those friends that you have from a very early age, like siblings, right? You are so blessed with incredible siblings in your family. And one of them, you're, did, did, have you talked to Johnny? Does he want to come on with us? Uh, yeah, maybe next month awesome. or, or then the month after. And, and, and my cousin, yeah, I mean, yes, we'll talk about that. Well, Let's go by the way, her her brother plays in that '80s band, and I love the fact. Um, so your sister in law Sarah is going to be going to see him play at Defiance Ridge Vineyards next month. So if you all want to go out and see that oh, '80s band and support one of our many sponsors, we uh, we would love that. So yeah, they're playing there next month. Okay, stay tuned. We'll have more on friendships. Deep levels of this, thought-provoking, as well as everything happening for a reason. We're going to discuss those books and more with Dot. We need women to lift women up. Let's do that. Let's go. Being on Monica's show, it was like one of the best interviews I've ever had. Monica's very real, and um, she really cares about people. She's changing lives. She's changing lives. I think this is just really what people want to see. Giving back so much to the community and I really appreciate it. Today, Monica was extraordinarily real, not only with me, but with her viewers and her listeners. Made the interview process like talking to a friend. How are you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you Haven't well. seen you in a few weeks. Hey. Hey. Yeah, that, oh, you're oh. close. Monica, Monica, yeah. <laughs> whoa. So go out in this world and be anything you want to be. But before you do that, first, be kind. Yes, let's go. And my team, by the way, let me always thank my wonderful team. Of course, Michelle, who a lot of you have gotten to know at least through typing with. Thank you to Michelle. Thank you to Zach. Put that wonderful promo together and he's working on a brand new one with some other testimonials from our wonderful guests that have been on set with us. Thank you to Hannah Gassman. If you look at those reels and stories that we turn right after the show, she's doing all that hard work. Uh, of course, we've talked about George in the past and Lori, wonderful team. And it's about the support system that we have around us. Um, Crystal, thank you, by the way, for letting me know this. She said she heard on the news that my friend, Dan Rolfes, who I went to high school with, uh, the coach from Incarnate Word, was released, she said. That's uh, that's actually good to hear. I know that he was moved from Mizzou uh, to Barnes here, but I hadn't heard that he was released, uh, but she's hearing that. So that's really, really good news. Continue to pray for him, though, because again, besides the heart condition he had, he has uh, kidney issues. But wow, what an incredible human being he is and what a wonderful coach. I I am thrilled to be, thank you for bringing that up though, I'm thrilled to be auctioneering the red and white auction that's coming up on Saturday for Incarnate Word, and I hope to raise some big, big money for them. That'll be on uh, Saturday night. All right, Sherry says, way to go, Dot. Uh, she, here, let, let me ask Dot about this. Dot, what are your thoughts on Crocs? <laughs> Monica, you know me. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that's a, that's that's a big no. <laughs> <laughs> well, Terry said, what's wrong with Crocs? I have a white pair that I wear a lot. Uh, Terry, again, you do you, but we're going to do us. And I just, they're big. They're well, comfy. do they have high heel clocks? Uh, high heel Crocs? <laughs> Look, you know what? They do. You know, you probably thought I, that you were kidding there. They did, I think. I don't know whether they lasted, but when I was at Fox, I remember us doing a story and I'm like, no to the no to the no. They're Crocs with a little heel. I don't think they lasted, but I understand that they're comfortable, but there are other comfortable shoes out there. They're just maybe you're running up to Walgreens or a grocery store or something, but I just, just, they're not for us. Uh, Anne says no Crocs. Good morning, Ron. Uh, yes. Yeah, see, Crystal said the same thing that we said. You do you, Terry, and wear them proud. Isn't that true? You just, you do you. Don't let other people influence what you're doing. Um, Dot was saying how much she loves Beckett and Michelle was saying Beckett's parents are the best. Oh, Angie says she has a couple pair of Crocs. They're not Oh, they're not the big ones. So I guess they they have some that are not so crazy. But if you hadn't seen the the picture I showed early this morning, uh, Beckett and I were discussing this. And just look at this for a second. Crocs and Pringles, they have collaborated on that most recent iteration. And that's truly a Pringle that that person is putting in their holster. That's nuts, isn't it? I, I don't know. Great for like dog treats. Okay, maybe. You have to go to the park. <laughs> You know what? I could see Crocs on a dog. 
That would make sense to me. They, if they can keep them on them, they would look funny. Uh, good morning, Jana. Good morning, Kathy. All these wonderful friends of the show. Chrissy, good morning. Um, so Michelle says it's National Only Child Day and National Grilled Cheese Sandwich Day. So as an only child, she's making an extra cheesy one today. Uh, yes, uh, we're not only children. Dot's got an incredible group of her friends that were made up when she was born because she's got all these wonderful siblings around us. But we're talking about multiple levels of uh, of friendships. Rose just said, my friend lives in Oakville. Nice house, but needs a few updates, but can't afford to completely do it all. She's making sure the main components are fixed. What are the most important selling points? I'll tell her to use Dot. Okay, perfect. What are the most, before we get into more friendships, I always want to make sure we get to all of your questions. Most important selling points, Dot. Always your kitchen, your bathrooms. You want to make sure that those are updated and upgraded. Those are selling points in the home. And honestly, you want to make sure the your, your yards look nice, your front yard, your backyard. A lot of times people will renovate a home and it looks gorgeous. And then there's like mud in the back. I mean, you want to make sure that your exteriors look just as good as the yes. interior. Yeah, and but we we actually did this on a past show saying if you're getting ready to sell, you don't have to spend an exorbitant amount of money to try to see if you're going to make it back. So just make sure that you take care of the most important thing. So yes, uh, Rose just said, Dot, haters will hate. I love black on me too. I'm not hating on Dot. I'm just saying she doesn't always have to wear black because she looks incredible in color. We're going to show you that, by the way. But when I, yes, and Michelle also brought a good point up, Dot. Dot was not a real estate agent when I was house hunting. Otherwise, we would have used Dot. Right, so, right, yeah. right. Thank you for saying that. And hello, Michelle. Yes. Okay. So talking about color, when I said, yes, I love her in everything. She looks stunning in everything, but look at how beautiful she looks in green. What is this? You, this was a most recent thing of uh, you gathering with your friends in the business, right? Yes. Right. So Coldwell Banker, we had our uh, yearly gala event and it was all the top agents awards. I was grateful and blessed to be able to be there in such a short period of time in my career here. And uh, these guys are some rock stars. I mean, I get to be around these beautiful women. They are so smart and so talented. And it's so great to just be around like-mindedness people. You know, there's no negativity. Everything is fun and uplifting. And, you know, we all have those moments out there with things that go wrong or, you know, you know, you start your day and something happens, but at the same time you get back to the office and these guys kind of walk you off the ledge. <laughs> <laughs> Very <laughs> well. And you're in a very competitive industry, right? Anybody that thinks about being in the real estate industry, everybody's out there. It could be cutthroat. It could be very catty. But I love, you can see that you're glowing, which means that that is not at all what's happening around you. Right, right. No, it was a fun night. It was a beautiful night. And, you know, just to sit there and see people get awards, it's like I'm always so happy for others. Yes. I love watching people get up on the stage and get off the stage and uh, and, you know, we, we talked about this at the, at the last at the, on the last show. The awards, the award is my client getting that house, handing sure. someone a key. Yesterday, we closed on the house for one yep. of my dear, dear, dear friends, family member. And she to hand her that key was Allison right here. I love her. She I it was so such a great moment. And that's that's my award right there, you know. And, uh, you know, with Allison, you know, it, it was like two years in the making to kind of get her to her home. But uh, but we got there and I'm so happy for her. And I can tell you, honestly, um, in the years that I've been doing this, I mean, when when I get the text from the other agent that says whether you got the, you know, got the home or didn't get it because they, you know, we didn't, you know, hit the right contract. They went with another buyer. We get those a lot as well. Sure. And on this one, I was so nervous. And when she texted, me, she said, okay, you guys got the deal. I cried. Oh. <laughs> I literally got up and I cried and I looked at it. And I ran and showed Ron. I'm like, we got her the house. I mean, <laughs> you know, it's been a while in the making, but, um, you know, we don't quit. We don't give up. We just kind of keep helping. And, um, uh, I'm so happy for her. Well, tell me what's happening here because you also always have to have laughter around you. What is up? Is this uh, Easter Bunny coming to your work? Yes, that was uh, yes, that was the uh, Friday. Uh, Friday, I guess Good Friday. The Easter Bunny was at work putting little Easter uh, eggs around. <laughs> Actually, that is my previous boss. That was her last oh. day, so she was there on her last day giving everyone little Easter eggs. And then the following Monday, she moved to a bigger office because she got a promotion. But that day was so fun. You know, again, we have a lot of fun in the office. 
That's it. And if you don't, you might want to start thinking, am I in the wrong? You know, it's never too late. I mean, we've talked about in the past, Dots told you about she was in the spa industry and then ended up following her passion later in life. So don't think it's ever too late. But it's also the fact of being able to transfer and have spouses that all get along as well. I love this, these pictures and look at that hot pink on you, girl. <laughs> I know that was pretty daring <laughs> to go from black to that. Yes. Uh, in fact, I was, I was, I stood there and I thought, I don't know. And I'm like, maybe it's just a two bit too much. And I was going to take nope. it off. Ron's like, no, we're going. <laughs> it looks great on you. So, so these again, are work friends. And yep. again, we get work. Do you know, so many of my friends come from my work friends, but these are my work friends. They're beautiful women. They're smart and talented. And I look up to them and their spouses are amazing. So to, to be able to sit there and have that, uh, it, it's just, it's a blessing. And I look forward to doing that again this evening. Yep, exactly. So we are, by the way, going to Madrina, which stands for Godmother. And that spoke to me because I have, I'm have i blessed with two godchildren, Kylie and Matt. Love them to death. And since I wasn't blessed to be a mama, I was like, yes, let's, let's celebrate Godmothers. And so Madrina, it's a new restaurant in Webster Groves. Uh, Jim actually surprised me and we went there on my birthday and now we're returning with good friends that uh, have been really wonderful friends for a long, long time. So I'm excited. I can't wait to see what, uh, what all of you think of it. Um, so let's transition to this. So we were talking about wonderful books that a lot of you like to get as we introduce you to them on this show. One of them that Dot wanted to talk about today is... Everything happens for a reason. And I told you earlier, my brother's like, no kidding. Why do people always say that? I'm like, well, well, it's true. Everything happens. He's like, well, I know it's true, but nobody has to say it. All right, what draws you to this book? Mira Kirschenbaum, she is a child of a Holocaust survivor. Wow. And she wrote this book uh, because, you know, you have to look at, you know, people say that a lot of times. You know, people don't just say that when there's good things happening. People say right. that a lot when there's something bad that happened. And sometimes, I mean, you know why I bought this book? Because, because I'm with your brother. That's such a crappy thing to say. And you know when people say it, it's like when something bad happened and we're, and we're going to, you know, you're devastated. And I'm going to look at you and go, well, everything happens for a reason. Yep. But, oh, my gosh. Well, you know, there's a time where you don't want to hear that. Right. So I bought the book because there are sometimes things in your life and you're like, what is going on and why is this happening to me? And then, you you know, depending on, you know, what you're looking for, what you're searching for, you know, I've got a God, I've got a higher power. Everyone's got a different higher power. But, you know, you look out and you reach out and you say, God, what is going on and why is this happening to me? Um, finding true meaning in what is going on with those moments that why that happened to you. And I can, uh, you know, go through my timeline of life and look at when I've had some of those difficult times in my life is when you really reach out and you say, Hey, why is this happening to me? Well, when you read this book and there's just, I mean, it's a, look, it's not that big of a book. It's a, it's a small read, you know, but it's too much to get into, but I promise you, Everyone should go buy this book. What does it cost? I don't know, probably like 20 bucks, not even that. But what you want to do is you look at the whole everything happens for a reason is about slowing you down and bringing you back to, uh, you know, when you're like stuck in traffic, you're like, oh, this is crazy. Well, maybe you're stuck in traffic for a reason. Yep. Maybe it's to prevent you from really something happening to you. And, yes. and you have to kind of take that seat back. Those moments is where I've learned to breathe. I've learned so much over the last couple of years that I, um, you know, especially since my time at the Four Seasons, mm -hmm. that was some crazy time. I worked there for four years. Mm -hmm. I was there at seven to seven, eight to eight yeah. I mean, all the time. And it, you know, just trying to get home in the evening just to be with my family. Mm -hmm. And anyway, growing up during that time, as you wonder, what are some of the things? So when I decided to quit my job and just be a mom and say, okay, here's not just, not just be a mom, be a mom. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Just be a mom. That's right. It was the hardest thing. I had to go get a job because I couldn't do that anymore. It was too much work. <laughs> it was too much work. There's so much involved. You're responsible for everything. I'm sorry, yes. moms. That's a lot. <laughs> no, I had to go do something to make it easy for me. Um, but at that point is that's when all this stuff started happening. And I started realizing everything happens for a reason. And I learned how to bake. I didn't bake my whole life. And I'm Greek. And my siblings, you know, they're, my sisters, they're so good. They know how to cook and sew and all that fun stuff. And I love them for that. And my mom, they're the best, all three of them. Um, you know, 
that wasn't me. I was a briefcase. I was going to college. I was, that's what I wanted. But, uh, but when this time happened, I thought, let me still slow my life down a bit and maybe learn how to bake a little bit. So I learned how to bake. No, 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 no. Hold on, everybody. Not maybe learn how to bake a little bit. <laughs> you did that. And I'm just going to say, everybody, my husband even said when, when we knew that you were going away from the spa industry, he thought for sure you were going to open up your own bakery. He's, he's like, she's ridiculously, folks, look, everything that I speak is honest to God truth. I would never steer you in the wrong direction. She is ridiculously talented. Well, obviously, as you can see on multiple levels, but not only is it a true talent of what she designs, these unique sweets that she did by Dot, but these pies and the lattice and the design, which we talked a little bit about before, but the cookies, you don't have as much time anymore, but you're still feeding that passion a little bit, aren't you? So a little bit, um, like like hardly a little bit. So what yeah. I've done is, so yes, I did have that business. And my sister, when I got busy, my sister jumped in. She's like my little bestie, but she, uh, she came and saved me and she started helping me when I got really busy. But then when I got busier with real estate, yep. then she started taking over the business. And so basically right now, my sister Athena has taken over unique suites by dot. So we probably should change the name and, <laughs> and, and now I'll help her if she needs help, but yep. it's, it's kind of like the other way around, but I'm going to tell you her talent is she's true talent. I want to share something. Um, we're going to get back to everything happens for a reason, but I want to tell you yeah, thought so revolution. Yep. This was the book that I told you at the last uh, podcast that we were going to talk about you guys. Th yes. Thank you, Monica. This yep. book, I'm telling you, I don't know. Okay. So you got right brain creativity. You got mm -hmm. left brain logic. And yep. I was always left brain. You know, I'm, I'm a, an Excel spreadsheet person. Yep. I'm a numbers person and creativity was not my thing. Uh, I couldn't cook. I didn't like color. Everything with me was black clothing and no color on my nails. You know, that was just simple. Well, what happened was I took this class. It wasn't even a class. I went to a seminar and I listened to William speak. And he basically gave everyone a piece of paper and told everyone to write with their non-dominant hand. Oh. Okay? So I'm right-handed. Yep. So I wrote with my, and he says, don't worry about how messy it is or if you can read it or not and don't worry about commas and periods and capital letters and don't worry about anything just write words you know so like right now i'd say kitchen lights can't you know books table podcast you know just start writing the book tells you when you start utilizing your non-dominant hand the hemispheres of your brains cross over and creativity pops out and you start getting this creativity. And I cannot even tell you, I couldn't, I'm not even great at coloring. And how did I start baking these beautiful designs of cookies and stuff? I mean, I have no idea. This is how. You so you actually had found that book prior to starting the baking? Oh, no, I was, I had started to do baking. Uh -huh. Well, let me see. Was it both hand in hand? I think I had the book beforehand, but it was kind of like simultaneously at that time. Cause you know, I had some free time, but it um, ignited more in you. It did. And I read it. And then I thought, what? So I read it again. I reread it. And I thought, Monica, is this the real Mo Monica, the real Monica? And we're so real here. I didn't even, I have two different earrings on. I ah. couldn't tell which one to wear. <laughs> I couldn't tell which one to wear today. And I'm just noticing, okay, so we're keeping it real here. You're on starting real a new trend. <laughs> My gosh, I'm so embarrassed. Okay. So no. but this book, this book. So, and again, look how little this book is. It's yep. a quick read, but what it does is it helps you to determine, and it would tell you, get, you know, get your keys out of your purse with your left hand, open the door with your left hand, start doing things with your non-dominant hand. I mean, if you're left-handed, start using your right hand, right, right. use your non-dominant hand to cross that over to create creativity. Mm -hmm. I mean, is this amazing? And yes. so this took me into this whole creative outlet uh, and when I'd have to think, like, what should I do? Uh, I get a cake order and it's like, how do I want to design this cake? I don't know. Uh, my husband's like, you yeah, know, go walk around. I went to the botanical gardens mm -hmm. and I walked around the whole time. I thought, well, this is stupid. I mean, can I say that on here? Anyway, I'm like, well, yes, you can say whatever you want. <laughs> doing anything. I mean, this is dumb. I mean, like, it's just flowers here. And then I sat down and I was tired and I was looking. And at that point, I saw a bridge and I thought, oh, wow, that's it. 
I'm going to put this bridge on this cake. And like, you start to really get creative and start thinking, but that's, that's why I really wanted to touch on this because last time we touched on a subject and whatever we were talking about, I said, you know what? We're going to talk a little bit about how this works, your creative side and your logic side. And we both, we all have both, but some people like my sister is amazingly talented. She, you know, hairdressers like Sherry, like these guys, like they could see your hair. Correct. They could see what it looks like finished before they even start cutting. Like they have that ability. Well, and it just all depends on, you know, some people, they go into an industry that works on the other side of their brain, but when they walk away from that, that's why I always say hone your passions or don't forget about what your passions are because you could be in this tech world and then all of a sudden someone's like, oh, but you should see how they are at home. They love to paint. They love to play the piano. Uh, You just talked about what Sherry does. For me, it's the mannequin behind me. That's Monique behind me, by the way. I named her. (laughs) That's where I get a chance to tap into my creativity and do my design and wardrobe consulting. Just like she can see the end res- the end result of the hair, mm-hmm. I see a person walk in and go, oh no, I know their true potential. And you tap into that. But if you're more into that creative side of your brain, then it becomes, how do you get into the other side? But I think what happened when Ronnie told you to go to the botanical gardens, it was to get you to slow down. And when we slow down and appreciate the calmness, the beauty of the flowers, suddenly it's not rush, 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 that you're missing out on where you could tap into your creativity. That's where a lot of it comes from. But yeah, so we, we put it on the screen for anybody that is wanting to purchase this thought revolution. Is it, is it William Donius? Yes, it is. Okay. So how to unlock your inner genius. And let me put the other one up on the screen as well. Everything happens for a reason. Mira Kirschenbaum, and I'm really wondering if she is related. Do you remember the interview I did with Gail and Mildred Kirschenbaum? I do, but I don't know if there's a relation. I don't know. I'm going to have to reach out because I was just actually looking on Instagram and they popped up. I'm sure it's because everything's always listening to us. So I say that name and here comes uh, Mildred. She is she she did an Instagram post and said, I am 106 months. <laughs> right. So cute. Um, so if you've never followed them, by the way, she was she was excited because she has 100,000 followers now. She's like, there's 100,000 of you. They care about me. It's I love it. So, yeah, we'll have to look into see if they're related. Um, we, let me look into some comments here. Crystal said, so funny last night, we were just talking about going to see that eighties band at defiance. So she's going to go and support. They'll actually be there to see your brother. How long has he been in that band? Oh gosh. I don't know. Years, 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 years. I've seen him play. He, they play a lot at Helen Fitzgerald's, don't they? They do. They do. So if you want to look for a good band, that eighties band. Let's see who else in here. I've made some bad decisions in my life, but Crocs, definitely not one of them. <laughs> I don't get Crocs. That's Richard, by the way, Dot, you would love Richard Melching. Uh, okay. Do- Actually, Anne says, Doc, Crocs are so uncomfortable. I would think they would be comfortable, but I wonder if they slip. They're, they, they just don't look, they look like they're plastic. I don't know what they're made out of. Okay. She says, Terry says, I used to hate Crocs and the appearance of them, and then they just grew on me. Well, yeah, that can happen. If you have big feet, any Croc looks big. (laughs) These are funny. Uh, I love Croc flip-flops. Okay, didn't know that they had flip-flops, Rose. Okay, they're laughing because I said, I could. can't you all see Crocs on a dog? Come on. I wonder if they have some. Otherwise, I've just given them an idea. Uh, See, Monica, this is why I love you because you're so real. We all need to be more real in life, right? Um... Michelle said, va, 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 voom, dot. I don't know what, it's probably the pink. The pink looked great on you. Uh, wow. They say, see, she's pretty. I don't think it matters what color she has on. I know she's stunning, but it's more so there's a lot of pretty people and a lot of handsome people in life. I don't care about that. What I care about is how beautiful your heart is. And that is truly what is the most stunning thing about Dot. Uh, Anne says, I was always told not to remodel the kitchen and bathroom before selling. She says, why should we? Oh, I've always been told that that is what we should do. Because those are the things people are looking for when they get into a home, right? Well, you know what, Monica? She, she's kind of right on one hand. So if someone wants to sell their property as is, meaning I'm willing to sell my house at the current rate, at the current value, at the current condition, uh-huh. not wanting to put any money into it, because you know, when you put money into it, you're going to expect to get a little bit more out of it. But if at some point you don't want to, then you can sell your house as is. And so some people choose to do that. They say, you know what? Someone else is going to come in with their preference, their taste. Yep. Let them redo it. I'll sell my home at a little bit of a lesser value uh, for that reason so that I could sell it, get out and get what I want and change my own other kitchen. So sometimes that, that does work. 
Yeah. Um, as we said before, don't spend a ridiculous amount of money putting all this in that you're not going to be able to recoup. But uh, I would say spend money on a stager though, right? If your house is empty, staging a house is important because what it does is it creates uh, a, a warmth. It creates a vision of someone walking in and saying, Ooh, I love this sofa. I could see myself living here, even though it's not their sofa. Correct. You know, they could see themselves living there. And when you have an empty house, especially if there's some odd looking rooms and you can't tell, like, is this a living room and what's this extra room? You know, so sometimes it's really good to just get it staged. It's not that expensive and it does bring value to the property, uh, you know, in order to sell it. Make sure that you don't have a bunch of clutter. I mean, that's the thing that'll make people walk right out because they can't see their vision. Uh, Michelle said she wants all the viewers to please send healing prayers to our dedicated follower, Carrie Samuelson. Carrie was in the hospital with sciatica, so she was in a lot of pain. Uh, her dear friend and uh, my dear friend Janice has been keeping me updated, but she was having some problems with her back and mobility. So yes, uh, healing energy out to her. Praying, praying, praying. Crystal says you're stunning, Dot. Marilyn, we love Carrie. Many prayers for her. Prayers for Carrie. Uh, so well said, Dot. I love this. I know I told you you'd all fall in love with Dot. Again, dotfleshman.com. And then the phone number we gave earlier. Let me give it again. It's 314-324-3317. Even if it's not you, by the way, right now that is looking, you're not in the market for it. I want you to say to your family and to your friends, hey, Monica's got this really wonderful woman. She can be your real estate agent. Um, let's see. Thanks for these book recommendations. And Michelle's been dropping those as well. Um, anybody else with comments or questions? No. Okay, good. Um, let's do this. Let's table because I do, I can't go on long this morning because we're heading off to one of our wonderful sponsors who I want all of you to reach out to. If you're having, by the way, back sciatica issues, hip issues, ankle issues, spine issues, Dr. Sean Neary, with Mid America Spine and Rehab. He has become a, the newest sponsor of our show. He's been on with us for the last month. He's going to be on with us, by the way, on Monday. And Jim and I both had a chance to go to him last Friday. Jim had a aha wake up call, by the way. And you've got to tune in Monday to find out what that was all about. But yeah, I haven't had a chance to take care of uh, my concussion symptoms for two and a half years the way I really should have. Acupuncture now, massage, chiropractic care. I'm all in with being the advocate to, to, to take care of myself. So when I have Dot on next time. We're going to go more in depth into this life mapping, right? Is it life mapping? Yes, life mapping. And it's, I literally put it up behind me. You can't tell. So I'm glad you have the pictures up here. Sure. And what, what this is, is, and I did this years ago. In fact, this is so old that it literally ends in 2017. So I probably should up, update it. But the whole purpose of life mapping is to kind of see, so you could see this, see the road. Yes. Road in the yellow middle. brick road. Everything above it is my personal, is my personal life. And everything below it is my, uh, my business life. And okay. it started, my business life started with um, like working at Dairy Queen when I was like 14 years old. And when you start writing your business life and what year you did your jobs, et cetera, and you take a step back, uh -huh. You know what my biggest aha was with that, Monica, that right. as a little kid, I always wanted to be a school teacher oh. and I, ne I ended up not getting my degree in teaching and being a school teacher. But you know what? When you pull all that out and you look at it, I've taught the last 30 years of my life. Absolutely. That was my job. So you're teaching in a different capacity, a different aspect, but you look at your family life and what has transpired. Remember all this, everything happens for a reason. You know, Eddie's accident is in there, you know, us moving our houses in there. There's so many things that are in there that you're going to take a step back and say, okay, gosh, you know, wow, what a beautiful journey it, this is, you know, um, I, anyway, there's so much to talk about, but next time we're yes. going to talk about it. Uh, I've got it. I'm going to have it pulled up next time. And, you know, we, and this would be a great thing for you and Kasha to actually do. Yeah. With your, uh, with our cultivating of visions. Oh, which by the way, thank you for uh, that transition. May 9th. We did pick the date. Michelle has it on our website. And I did see a couple people purchase her tickets already yesterday. This is one of the things about being organized and planning in advance. You don't want to wait another two, three weeks from now, because the price will go up. So if you go to the real monicaadams.com and then click on the events, that calendar will pop up, click on May 9th. It's six to seven 30 PM. And I actually saw that Kasha popped on to Instagram. She's always up early. She said, Hey girlfriend, I'm going on a rain walk. So it doesn't matter. Nothing slows that woman down. Uh, her passion 
her energy just jumps through the screen. But the thing I love about those nights is that it's all of us, just like it's me and dot on the screen right now. It's all of us together and you get to talk. It's not just typing in and having one little comment and hope that the next comment gets spoken, uh, gets addressed. We do that together. I would love that. I'm going to actually ask her dot if she knows about life mapping. And can I just say this before we wrap up? You were mentioning that you weren't necessarily into the creative side, but I looked at this. I actually zoomed in so I could see it all. I mean, you could be a painter. Really? You've always been creative. When did you do this? I did that after this. (laughs) Okay. So it brought it out. They all go hand in hand. It does go hand in hand. I'm telling you, there's, there's so much to be said about it. And, you know, I feel like, you know, still to this day, I uh, use my left hand to open doors. Oh. It's because I started getting into the habit of trying to keep it, you know, on both sides. So interesting. I wear my watch, my Apple watch on my right hand and everyone goes, oh, are you left-handed? And I said, no, to me, it makes more sense that when I'm writing that I just go like this and look really quick and I keep going. It just, it didn't make sense to me to wear it on the left, but I think I've all, I have at times, I had actually hurt my shoulder years ago. So I had to write with my left when you're forced out of your comfort zone to do something, but I'm going to take that today. I'm going to start using things. Here we go. I'm going to drink out of my left side instead of my right and see what happens and what you bring up. I'll tell you all day today. Since I'm going to see you tonight, I will use, I'll use my left, and then I'll okay. tell you. What, I'll tell you what comes out of me. Michelle's probably at home going, "Oh Lord, don't give her more to think about." <laughs> Uh, Real quick, Stephanie said, my sister sold her house last year. She couldn't sell as is, so she had it painted, cleared the clutter, and it sold. Good points, Dot. Thank you so much for everything that you've brought. Right? She's absolutely amazing. I love you, my friend. I love you, too. Thank you for, for having me on. It's always a pleasure, and I look forward to seeing you tonight tonight as well. And then we'll have uh, Dot on. She's coming on and continuing on with us uh, into next month. We'll go a little bit more in depth about the life mapping and have more wonderful um, topics for you with regards to real estate and friendships. I love you. Friendship Friday. All right, everybody stay tuned. We've got our wrap up of our show coming up next. Invita Health and Wellness, where you can feel your best both inside and out. Invita isn't your typical med spa. They're a multi-specialty medical spa and wellness center serving St. Louis and its surrounding areas. They have ketamine for mental health and pain, IV therapy, medical weight loss, and aesthetics treatments. As board-certified anesthesia providers, Invita can ensure that their advanced treatments are provided safely with minimal to no pain. So let Invita take care of you. Call 314-394-09 to book an appointment or online at VitaHealthAndWellness.com. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. Some wonderful tips from Dot. Don't you love her? I'm telling you, everybody we introduce, everyone starts saying, oh my gosh, I I fall in love. Uh, Crystal just said, me too, right-handed and wear my watch on the right too. Oh, see? I don't know. It's a thing. We (laughs) we started there. All right. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Again, whether you're going to see the Blues, the St. Louis City SC game, go to see the Cardinals. Again, Battlehawks not uh, playing this weekend, but a lot to do with your family, with your friends. Do us a favor though try to spread a little more kindness out into the world. And then let's come back Monday morning, bright and early at seven o'clock. Sarah Franco coming back from her mission trip in Belize. I can't wait to show some of those pictures. And one of her patients, Herminia, who has been going through mistletoe therapy along with her cancer treatments. And she said she feels incredible. What is mistletoe therapy? We're going to go more in depth into that. I'm going to show you our beginning appointment with Dr. Sean Neary with Mid-America Spine and Rehab. And then on Tuesday, we're going to talk with John and Melissa Knoll with the Farmers and Artisans Market. I cannot wait for this. On Mother's Day, my mom and I will be out there in that Pantera's parking lot, again, right there off of Highway 70 and K. I hope to see your mama. I'm going to challenge all of you to bring your moms by to meet my mom. Hopefully we'll have, I mean, hundreds of mothers all gathering together with their kids in the parking lot with vendors, music. There's going to be wonderful vendors there that are going to do all their wares, dogs as well. And we're going to talk with a representative from Diamonds in the Rough. They will be my guest along with the Knowles on Tuesday. Looking forward to that. Again, I always ask you, if you know of a wonderful human being that would like to be a part of our show, they want to be a guest or you want them to be a guest. Again, I am the executive producer and the host of this show, making those decisions 
terms of who we have on the show. And I just want to make sure they align with our mission. If they're wonderful human beings, then I want to shine the spotlight on them. Not just guests, but in order to continue the show, of course, you always know we need to have wonderful sponsors either on a monthly basis or bringing our mobile Monica out to you. And yesterday I loved talking with Julie Ingold. She is the owner of Sunset Overlook in Columbia, Illinois, and we guaranteed the sunset evening that we'll spend together. That's June 13th. Mark it on the calendar right now. It's actually going to be 7 p.m. until 8.30. Why are we doing it later? Well, because sunset, as we get into summer, is not until about 8.27 in the evening. So we're going to start our show at 7 p.m. and we will take that right before sunset. Come on out. I'm giving you plenty of time to make plans to be a part of that one, June 13th. And we've got some other ones in the works. As soon as those are confirmed, I'll uh, pass those on to you as well. All right, everybody, thank you so much. Blessings going out to each and every one of you. And I see a lot of you saying again, oh, you know the Knowles? How cool is that? Well, you've got to uh, tune in for that and you need to make plans, Marilyn, to come on out and see us on Mother's Day. Have a blessed weekend. God bless you all. Whatever you do with your family and friends, just remember to do the thing that we always ask. And that is to be kind to one another. I'll see you soon.